What's up, guys? Haven't got much done on the uh, current projects on the channel. I've uh, been busy with work and stuff. So I figured to keep some stuff going, I'll show you kind of what we're working on here. Um, so right now, well, we got a 62 Impala you might have seen in some of the other videos. That's kind of tucked over on the other side for now. Um, but uh, do a quick little go over of the uh, 73 Jag we're doing. Um, we started it. I think it came like January or December, or January or February last year. Um, this quick backstory: the guy bought it like 25 years ago uh, as a wreck um, out of Missouri, and uh, it was rear-ended and then shoved into a, a truck. So it was pretty bad. So the damage, and then it was a little bit rust, lots of rust. Um, it was quite a project but it's starting to finally take shape got some color sprayed on it uh jams like the firewall and stuff um the pretty soon i'll be well hopefully today we getting the body out of here and then bringing the nose over um to start doing that uh get, get the underside painted and then hoping by the i don't know maybe end of august or so uh, this will be out of here and free up a spot so let me get the uh, camera switched around and I'll show you what we're doing all right so here we are it's a 73 XKE V12 poster so basically it was hitting the left rear and then like I said shoved into another car so, got a new quarter, the rear body panel, all, everything in the back. The tail light pocket, uh, this lower piece, or this lower piece, um, the lower piece on the other side. That was more of a rust thing. That wasn't really a damage thing. But a uh, new trunk lid, um, new floor section here. Uh, actually cut that out of a, we have a, Mustang parts car for that Mustang over there and I cut a section of the roof out to Fill in this area because we don't have an English wheel to really get the nice flowy contour this way and that way So I was just looking at that roof down there. I was like, hey, I kind of think that would fit the bill and it did so So it still has some so it has some Mustang metal in it uh, New rockers all new floors, the frame rails. Um, the front uh, bulkheads in the front, all that stuff was, everything was rotted out. Um, yeah, the floors, new rails, even put pieces in here on the top, both sides. Bulkheads on both sides. These front pieces on both sides. We made these, made all this stuff because this stuff was all rotted. Um, some patches down in here where the uh, front framework bolts or mounts. That's about where it's at. Oh, this was rotted out in here. So we put a piece up in there. So I got it sandblasted. Uh, Two weeks ago, I think. Got an epoxy and got seam sealing all done. Another coat of epoxy and then started uh, getting the yellow sprayed. We had to line the doors back up to get the hinges back on. So that we usually do that kind of so that the bolts don't get touched later. So you don't got to go touching anything up. We usually, like if we're doing like A body stuff or uh, it kind of depends on the car, but usually we'll paint the hinges on the doors. That way, all you got to worry about is up and down when you go to put them on. You don't got to worry about in and out. And usually those bolts are hidden behind the fenders. So you can just touch them up and you'll never, you'll never see them. As I said, both rockers, 
and a lot of other tons of restructuring inside of here. Uh, there's a lot of just handmade, a lot of handmade parts. This piece was all rotted out down here. So we got a new piece up, this whole lower piece. I said, these are new, both sides, rockers. Got all the gravel guard done on the, on the bottom. Floor. Is that all new floor pans? The pans, all the frame rails. This was actually okay in here. A lot of this we had to like cut out to replace. We had to cut sections out of the wheel wheel wells to replace a lot of the rot and stuff in inside there. But it's come a long way. It was bad. I don't know if I'm good enough with the editing stuff to insert some of the before pictures of when it, what it looked like when it came here. But if I could figure out, you guys can see how bad it was. <laughs> and the doors, um, got new door skins on the doors. The one got a new bottom. Uh, the nose was really bad. Um, so he found a, a new nose up in New Hampshire, I think. Um, but even now it was like 10 miles of bad road, a lot of rust repair, a lot of straightening. Um, so that, I think the hood, the hood was probably as bad as the whole car. It, it almost seemed to take longer <laughs> or, or at least as long to, to do all that. But, uh, yeah, so hopefully probably later today we'll get this out of, out of here and then get the, uh, get the nose over here and. I can start working on that. <clears throat> and I was jumped at a Mustang here. This thing's been here entirely way too long. <laughs> but uh, I don't want to lift that thing up. But basically, all the bodywork is done. Uh, the orange is uh, Z Chrome polyester primer. We use that for blocking. This fender is blocked. I still got to do some stuff and get it off and then get it primed. Uh, the fiberglass cow hood. Well, I'll lift this up. I got a tape down. Sorry. Uh, hood's all uh, with Z Chrome blocked, primed, so that's ready for paint. Uh, the doors are in there. They're uh, new reproduction doors. Actually fit half decent. Uh, didn't need a whole lot of work. Uh, so those are in primer, ready for paint. Uh, same with the trunk lid. Uh, it's got a Shelby style. Kind of doing a yeah, Shelly style uh, build on it. Um, the nose and all that stuff. So that's done and ready for flavor paint. <clears throat> Once the, uh, kind of just working on the unboltable stuff for right now. Uh, once this comes off the uh, rotisserie this is gonna go the Mustang is gonna go on it because um, there's some stuff we're not quite sure about on the bottom because the previous the the owner of the car had done some floor work in this um, and there's there's definitely some other rust and stuff still in the bottom so we're not gonna get crazy with getting the body in primer right yet um, I can block it and all that stuff while it's under rotisserie and get it in primer but you want to get the bottom sand blasted off see what it looks like um and go from there i didn't want to do any kind of priming or anything on the rockers you know we can i can work my way up from that but just working on the the unboltable stuff we got the scoops for the uh quarter panels those are done um i think that's really about it yeah doors are done um, I say work on the fenders and get those, uh, finished up, get them in final primer. 
So now there's a new project here, another one. Um, my dad retired last year, um, or was it a year before? It was last year, two years ago. Um, I mean, we still you know work on the cars in here and stuff, but um, he doesn't do it as much. Um, but he's been, all his cars are done. And the only thing he really has to, you know, kind of mess around with is either, you know, my car or, uh, I mean, my kid has his 52 in that, in the other video and stuff, um, you know, to kind of work on. So, and he likes working on cars. That's his, that's his thing. So he was kind of itching for a project or another project to have, um, that he can tinker on. He can, and it's, whether or not it ever got done, he didn't necessarily care, um, but he just wanted something to mess around with. Uh, so he's always wanted a 32 Vicky. Um, and he's just never, never got one. So he's been kind of looking lately for one. And, or we've been looking, or me and my kid have been looking. And we found one in Toledo, Ohio, uh, two weeks ago. It's on Facebook Marketplace. And uh, it's, a, it's a complete project. It's a, a new fiberglass body on a new 30, on a new frame. Um, the fenders, the running boards, the hood. Uh, the hood sides, uh, all the glass. There's a, a four nine inch in it, four wheel disc brakes, uh, drop axle front end, uh, and a small block Chevy. I guess it's a three. I'm not sure if it's a three fifty five. It's at least a three fifty. I don't know exactly. We don't really know what's all done with the motor or the engine because the guy we got it from isn't the original owner. He got it from the wife of the guy that I guess originally bought it. Um, I'm trying to do a little bit of research, trying to figure out whose body it is. And I'm kind of leaning towards a Scott Rods, uh, Vicky body and frame probably also because I'm under the assumption they, they sold complete rollers. Um, and to me, it looks like he probably bought it like that and didn't do anything else with it. Um, so that's where that one's at. Um, it's outside, so I'll, I'll uh, do a little walk around and show you that new project. All right. So later in the day, it was five, and got the stuff moved around, got the Jag out of here. And on the other side, got the nose over. And uh, so flip the camera around and you can, I can show you a little bit about the nose and then my dad's new project. All right, so here's the nose. A lot of damage, a lot of rust. It basically dismantled the whole thing, uh, stripped it all, sandblasted all the inside stuff, uh, got it in an epoxy. And then just got to the uh, building, getting it fit to the car. Like these areas were all rotted out. So we basically cut the lower a probably inch off and put that new beading in there, both sides. Uh, this was all rotted out all the way down. So put a piece in there, got a piece across here. Uh, I think this side was all right. It's been so long, I forget. But this side got a piece going down here too. Um, I think that the other fender had there was a couple pieces here where the like the inner structure gets uh, it was like glued together, caulked together, and it was actually rusting uh, where all the caulk was. So I ended up having to put a couple pieces in here on the other side. Um, but. Yeah, a lot of the lower apron I don't think was too bad. Um, where the, the scoop was was a little beat up, so we had to straighten that out a bit. But it's just a matter of you know getting the lines nice and 
get everything to uh, fit nice. And thankfully, the louvers were actually pretty straight. They weren't all boogered up or nothing, so. So that's nice. So yeah, so we got to flip it, or flip it up, upside down and um, get sanding on the inside and get that yellow. And then uh, another one more big step done. Uh, here's the inside of the trunk over where I was getting that sanded. Okay, now on to the 32. So, I think I said earlier, I don't remember because I was getting interrupted so much. I believe it's uh, Scott Rod's body and chassis. Um, I have a call in or a, a email into them uh, just to ask him about some stuff. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see what they say. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm kind of curious as to, we found a, a plate screwed to the chassis uh, down down in this area. And it has like three three letters and a couple numbers. So I know that's some kind of a, if it is theirs, if it's a, let me put the door down. Some, if it's some kind of, you know, serial number process they use or, you know, whatever the deal is. Um, but we'll find out. Um, I'm 98% sure that's whose it is. And the body isn't bad. It's definitely going to take some work. Um, definitely going to need some restructuring in the doors, even in the body to... Uh, just to stiffen it up a little bit. Um, there's a nine inch, that four wheel disc, coil overs. Um, it already has the, the booster and the master cylinder and everything's uh, on the frame. There's a box 32 frame. Doors don't open quite perfect just yet. You know, gonna need a lot of massaging. So my dad didn't really have his hopes up for it to be like a really super nice body. Um, but he kind of thought it was a little nice. Like when you look at the pics, it seems it seemed like it'd be a little bit nicer than it was when we got there. So, I mean, there's a little bit of disappointment, but, you know, it is, it's one of those, it is what it is kind of things. Um, it's not horrible. Could it be better? Of course. But, uh, it is what it is. So then there's the motor. I, I'm kind of guessing I could be wrong, but I kind of think this engine was in something already and it was pulled out of that and put in this. Um, and I kind of think that's about all that was really done to this car because if it is a Scott Rods car, you can buy complete rollers and everything on their site kind of, it seems like every everything that they say that they do to a rolling chassis is done to this chassis and nothing else is really done to the car so i think you know maybe they had the, the guy had that motor and set it in there but there's no trans and yeah you know, so i kind of think he never even really got started on the project so there's the front fenders rear fenders are back there uh dash running board glasses in the uh cardboard over there all the garnish moldings the front balance piece um the hood is horrible the fenders aren't bad but the hood's junk 
the grill shells junk uh the hood sides are junk so and i don't think my dad wasn't really planning on using any of that stuff anyway he wants to get steel running boards a steel uh radiator shell um so a steel hood hood sides so all the stuff that's kind of junk on it it was going to get replaced anyway so it's not like a a huge loss uh here's the Hallibrand style style wheels uh shut my phone off by accident <laughs> So, yeah, that's about where that is. Um, I don't know how much. I mean, obviously, I'll I'll start doing a, a thing about this as he uh, starts moving ahead on it. Uh, let me flip the phone around here. All right. Yeah, I don't know. The He was kind of thinking about uh, actually selling his Corvette to actually buy this and and that way he could kind of just go right into working on it. But I kind of, I don't, he's changed his mind. He doesn't want to get rid of his vet. Uh, so progress on this will probably be a little slow. Um, just with the initial purchase of the car. And um, uh, and then until he, you know, figures out everything he wants to get. Um and there's, there's actually a lot of stuff that he can do on this without really spending a bunch of money yet. Um, but we are going to work, or he is going to work on uh, getting a steering column in it, uh, getting the steering hooked up. So when we're pushing it around, it's not a pain in the ass. Um, and then I think probably the running boards is probably going to be his next thing. So we can kind of get the fenders on, uh, start mocking that kind of stuff up. Um, Oh, it also came with a, a fiberglass uh, like tank cover in the back, but he wants to use like a stock, uh, a stock style tank. So that's we're not going to uh, need that at all either. Um, so eventually, he's going to have to get some uh, some stuff for it, so we can kind of start mocking the body up and see how everything fits, especially how see how the fenders fit. Need the running boards for those. Um, but yeah, that's where that's where we're at in the shop right now. Um, so thanks for following along, and see you guys on the next one.